Hello Stowe community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm really not going to show you anything new. Um, I'm going to show you things that you already know, but there are some new updates to the Foundry. Um, I have kind of mixed feelings about the potential of some of these updates. Some of it's just kind of silly, uh, but I want to show it to you um, because it could be useful. It could be um, useful workarounds for you. It could be it could give you ideas for um, how to think outside the box. I believe that the reason these updates were put in the Foundry is to satisfy a long existing request, and that was when players interact with the console followed by a pop-up then authors have to choose, well, what NPC will state the console's dialogue. And that's always been a problem because we want to read the consoles. We don't want to have a hologram say what the console says um, or have the console have a face. I mean, it's a console, so it should have a screen and we should be able to read the screen. So what the devs have done, and I think it's probably Mapolis who's done this, is put in costumes that we can specify in the dialogue boxes as being props. So here is an object on the map. It's a Klingon console. I can interact with the object and that's followed by a dialogue. Oops, that's the wrong costume. But um, there is a costume for a Klingon console. So if I click on the object there's my console. If I go to the story tab, then that console is followed by a pop-up and I can specify that the pop-up comes from a prop, a prop by finding the prop that I want and that's a Klingon console. Alright, let's do that again. Alright, here I am on the map. Here is my object. can interact with the object and that's followed by a pop-up and the pop-up comes from the Klingon console and I don't really know why they did this to the costumes where it's you know you see the bottom half of the console and the rest is black space I think you know personally I think just a Klingon logo would have looked better or just something generic but this is certainly better than an NPC's face popping up and talking to you like a console so that I think is the intended purpose of the update. But uh, it seems there was a trade-off for the devs that in order to let us specify a costume that's a non-NPC in the pop-up, they had to also make it where we could costume NPCs as those objects. So this is a row of NPCs and each one is costumed as a prop that's available as a costume in the editor. So lots of consoles, some Borg devices. This is a really cool one because I think it's shaking the whole place. Um, but these are all just friendly NPCs costumed as props. And what you can do with that is you can talk to the UGC contact and you can disguise this to be uh, scan the device or unplug the circuits or however you want to do this and then when you talk to it it talks back and you can probably barely see this but this is the bottom of this thing which is by far the most unattractive part of the costume but that's what we get alright and one other thing to keep in mind here is that because these are NPCs costumed as props they have no they have no collisions so you can walk right through them they're not real objects like the Klingon console and you might think of neat ways to use that to your advantage um, otherwise you might have to put in invisible walls or invisible barriers to make it more realistic so the player just can't walk through it but it could have uses right I'm maybe trapped in this room and my officer says, Captain, I'm picking up a hollow matrix of some sort. And I figure out, well, hey, there's, you know, trap door here. So that's one possible use. Um, 
you also might be wondering at this point, okay, well, you just costumed all those friendly NPCs as props. What happens if I costume a group of enemies as props? That's when it gets pretty silly. Um, not totally silly, because there are some props that are kind of cool when they fire at you, like these little board guys. These I like these guys because they remind me of the um, the little spiders from or the replicators from Stargate. So they'll chase you around, and um, if they get to you, they'll hurt you. They'll snag you like the Borg snag you, or they'll fire. Um, I think if you skid Klingons as these things, they might swing batlets at you. Um, you can experiment with that. It's kind of fun to see what the different objects do reskinned as different props. That that right there is, I think, the coolest thing you can do. But there are also other things you can do, which border on the silly. But if your ship is haunted, then maybe maybe it would make sense for a group of NPC Klingons to be skinned as consoles that just attack you. And so far, I haven't really found a good workaround to skin an enemy NPC as a prop and keep that enemy NPC stationary. I think that would be really cool because you could put in a Mastiff you know, one that just bites, and then a player could walk up to the console, and the console would bite you or shock you, or but then it wouldn't just chase you around like these chase you around. So far, I haven't figured out how to do that. I've tried to put them inside invisible objects. I've tried to put them just kind of stuck in the floor. Uh, please let me know if you find a good workaround for that, because it's it's neat that these props will fire, but it's just kind of stupid that they chase you around. Um, unless, of course, your ship is haunted. So, uh, I hope that is useful to some people out there if you haven't checked out that update. Again, if you put in an NPC, you can reskin the NPC by going to the costume and searching for prop. And there are about 20 to 21 of these to choose from. And any NPC, whether friendly or enemy, can be reskinned as a prop in a mission. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave feedback on the forums, on the blog. Please also check out the new features at Starbase UGC. Um, and please help us edit the Wiki UGC. All right, thanks very much.